Hello and welcome my friend and next I am planning to show you that how to replace this uh, Toyota Corolla PVTi engines automatic gearbox oils and we need then look in here because here is this uh, measurement stick and in, in that area we will in that hole we are also planning to add new gearbox oils, uh, this automatic gearbox oils. And but before of that, I think that I need to measure that how much I have just now this uh, this gearbox oil because now my engine is hot and I am not sure that how much there is oil. But let's let's check the amount and this. Measurement happens so that first I take this stick away and there is this that kind of uh, locking pin and I bend that little bit and then I pull out this uh, measurement stick and then I need cotton cloth clean cotton cloth here I have and then I take this stick away and then important thing uh, when this this car is hot or cold. We need to know that is our engine warm or cold. And now my engine is hot and that's I need to look in this measurement stick areas. Areas where is this hot markings. And there is text in here and I clean that my stick. Now it's clean. And then I start to look that there is some some text in here. There is type. There is oil type, and there is cool. This is these are cool, cool uh, points, and this is hot. Okay, and that lower one in here is low, and this is the up one is the at the max level in automatic gearbox oil, and that's I remember that these are now my measurement stick. This upper one. And if my engine is cold, then I need to measure that one. This is important. Because this oil becomes bigger when it's hot. And now I insert that my... Okay, and then I like to also show that then we need this waste oil canister. What is this black box? We try in in that box our old transmission oils. And then we need also this, this canister that there is also this nose that we can add this new oil in this automatic transmission area. Okay, but then, then we continue and we go to look that run out bolt next. Okay, and then when we are looking this oil drain bolt, it's good to start that first we check that there is feel. This is right feel and then in here we have oil drying bolt, this is engine oil, and then when we look in here, there is exhaust pipe, and then when we look in that area, there we can see this, this left, left wheel in here, and that area, this is this oil, automatic transmission oil, oil area, and in just in here, that bolt, this is this oil drying bolt. And let's go to look that closer next. Okay, and this is this our target that bolt, and this is 14 millimeter. We need socket size, what is one four, one four millimeter, and it fits in here in that way. And then there is also this little bit bar that we can open that, and this is our target. And before of this, this bolt opening, it's good to take steel brass, what I have in hand, and then clean that bolt, that there is no any sand or dusties. And because then it's, it is easier to open. And this is the first step, and then, then, we, then I open that bolt. Okay, and here is our target. And then I take my my tool, there is this my socket and then my tool, it looks like that and I insert 
that my tool in here in that way and then I start to rotate that my tool in this way and this bolt opens easily and then I open that and then then when I rotate that I need to take ready this my oil waste canister that I can I can insert my oils in here and this canister works so that that there is this yellow cap that when I open that this waste oils goes in there in that area okay that's that's I start to set up this thing in here then I then I continue this bolt opening too then I check that can I use my fingers yes now this bolt is so loosened in here that I can and there is actually oil is now dropping and then I rotate it and now oil is waste oil is grinding out and then new look it's good to use protective clothes because now my clothes are in oil but no any skin issues and then I need to keep that my my canister something like a couple of minutes that this oil grinds out and and then we wait wait five minutes that oil goes out okay okay and we continue when this oil is away okay and there is this old waste oil is grinding in my this oil waste canister and this is very nice to use because there is cap and, and this, this capacity is something like 3 gallons and now this waste oil amount is something like uh, half gallon or something like that and then we continue okay and then when we have this automatic transmission this gear box drain plug and this bolt it's good to clean with cotton cloth and then remember to install in here this this gasket and this plate and then we go to insert that that bolt back and then it's good to use also this torque friends tool and insert in their force what is something like 20 20 to 30 newton meters is this force and and then this plug plug will be in fine and then we go to insert that back okay and there is this place and first little bit cleaning with cotton cloth and then I insert the bolt in the back and then I I fasten that bolt next. There's my tool, 14 millimeter tool, and and this final step was this talk with friends tool. And here is this my talk with friends, and 20 newton meters. Then when we hear this click, everything is fine. Okay, and 20. Okay, and now this talk reference says click and this bolt is in fine and then then we go to add this new oil in up array. Okay, and then when we install this oil drain bolt in back in there, 
it is good to fasten same force as it, it was and it is something like 20, 20 to 30 newton meters because there are two different kind of automatic transmissions but uh, 20 newton meters is is fine and then when this bolt is in secure in here we go to to add this new automatic transmission oil in up area and we continue okay and now when there is this uh, oil drying bolt is in place then we need to add this uh, automatic transmission oil and let's go to do that next okay and then when we are planning to add this oil this oil adding place is that place and it is so small small hole in here and let's look closer okay and it is in that place where I need to next drive in this automatic transmission oil and here I have one good uh, oil what is this uh, mobile mobile ATF 320 and remember that there must must be this quality level must be at least when we rotate this other side it must be this dextron dextron 2 level oil we must have and then this this automatic transmission we need to dry in there at least at least something like three to four quarters oil and like three to four liters oil and it's first to good first dry in there something like three liters or three quarters quarters this automatic transmission oil and then we need to check there is this check measurement stick and there is this amount scale in here that how much we have oil but first I drive in there this oil and it happens so that that I open that that canister's nose and then I carefully I carefully I start to grind this oil in there inside and let's look better view in closer view okay now we have better view and then I, I start to grind this oil carefully in that way and then we can also use funnel because it helps this work because this this is so small small hole okay and then I this takes couple of minutes to dry this oil in here inside okay and then we continue when I am ready okay and then I think that I have in here funnel and there is this head and this funnel goes nicely in there and check that this funnel is clean it is good to clean totally both areas inside and this outside area and then when it is clean we only start to grind in, in here this oil and this, this helps this work really much and now when I use this funnel this oil goes directly in this hole and this is good, good to purchase this funnel and then when I have grind in there this three liters and three quarters this oil we check this amount measurement amount okay and now when I have dried in there this this three quarters I take this my measurement stick and then clean cotton cloth and I clean that cloth and then then we need to check that there is two of those lines and then when I insert that my stick in there we, I must insert that in it goes in one way note that there must be this transmission transfluid text in here because in other side 
it don't go in there. Note that. Only it goes thick, goes in one way. And then there is this metallic clipper, what we need to press and insert that totally in that position. And in that position we open, we press that metallic switch in other hand, and then we open that stick, and then we look at what is this amount. And this now when this oil is cool, it should be in here, but now this my oil is a little bit too up. And that means that now I have too much this oil and I need to dry out oil because this is the right amount in here this this oil and let's go to look by the way this stick closer because this is so interesting okay and then it's good to insert in, in here this clean cotton cloth and here is this my oil stick here is this keep and then we look closer this scale that what what we can see in there because this is this is really interesting because in here when we look that scale we can see that first there is text in here that Dextron 2 and then we look closer okay and now we have better view and it's good to take clean cotton cloth and clean that stick this area carefully that measurement area and there is this text text in here that dextron 3 or 2 sorry this is the minimum oil quality in here and then we can see there is hot and cool those point when I clean that a little bit and that means that 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 when we have those we can see those small hills or, or actually those deeps in here, dents. That it means that that, uh, that in this low first dent, it means that it is the minimum level in cool oil. And this upper area is the maximum level where we must have this oil level when this transmission is cool. And it's and cold. And it means that there is situation that there is no any driving in this car and then this oil is in here but then when motor is hot this we use different scale what is that area and there is comment hot and then this third dent is the low and the upper one is the max and the OK level and this that's this oil level measurement is so complex in this this automatic transmission cars because we have two scales for hot engine and cold engine and that's be carefully when you look those amounts because if we have too much oil in our automatic transmission then we 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 have troubles and it can it can make some issues but now i i I check this my oil level again and now I go to insert that my stick in my engine and then we check that amount that how much we have oil. Okay and now I inserted this my oil stick so deep than I could and then we can check that in what area we have this oil now. And we can see that in now this oil level is just something like in here and it is like warm engines ama area and now I think that I have too much oil in my automatic transmission because it should be in this lower level max area and that's I need to do next so that I need to dry out a little bit oil about one gallon uh, sorry one quarter or one liter and then I I have this cool oil amount in here. Okay, and this was this information and that how to check and measure this Toyota Corolla's oil automatic oil stick amount. Thank you.